Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, here on a Chew Tuesday, on YouTube Tuesdays and Wednesdays now. 2023 Panini Legacy Football One Box Break, random team number 20, and the last filler to unlock that big hit express break. Big thanks, so let's do the break first. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I'm on Fanatics Live all the other days, by the way. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. Five and a four, nine times each for the break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, there are the names here. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Football season almost upon us, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of cuts being made today. Any surprise cuts today that anyone was surprised about? I saw that Bailey Zappi got cut by the Patriots. I thought that was interesting. There's everybody right here. First half of the list. Here's the second half of the list right over here. No trade windows in these filler breaks. Let's alphabetize by team, and let's print and rip. Uh, final printout hot off the presses on the 20th man August flew by ladies and gentlemen really did 29th already let's see what we got in this legacy here up the NFL headlines here. Jets' is, uh, Dalvin Cook practices as he's ready for week one. Yeah, Patriots waving quarterback Zappi and Cunningham. They may, do they even have a backup quarterback on their... Yeah, Mac Jones is currently the only quarterback on the team's roster. I suppose, I suppose if they clear waivers, right, they, they'll end up back on the team. That's a possibility, so I guess it's not, not just yet, but it's interesting. I, I know there's a lot, of, a lot of Patriots fans. Is Patriot Nation split? I feel like some Patriots fans are all about Bailey Zappi, not convinced about Mac Jones. So as for, we were talking about Jonathan Taylor before we started this recording here. Yeah, so, well, first off, he's, there's no trade that materialized today, so he remains on the pup list, which makes him ineligible to play in the first four games of the season, so there's at least that. And then I guess there's the trading deadline, August 31st. If there's no deal by then, the Colts could use the franchise tag on Taylor and try to trade him again in the offseason. It's crazy. I suppose if you're Jonathan Taylor and you really don't want to play without a new deal, there's under the lights Will Anderson Jr. I suppose you can try to wait to see if a team needs a running back by, by October, the trading deadline, and try to get on a team there. Maybe some team desperate enough to move a lot of assets. There's Tanner McKee to 149. Well, we'll see what happens with the Jonathan Taylor saga. There's Tank Dell to 199. Will Levis. This table's a little, it's a little low. We 
got the table right about about here. The camera angle right about there. All right. Devontae Adams for my Raiders. As a Raiders fan, I'm happy that happy that the Josh Jacob situation was they both parties figured it out. There's Devontae Adams again this time, mini to 125. Alan Matsui has my Raiders. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad they figured it out. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully Josh Jacobs can can avoid the. I think there's like a little bit of a curse, right? I think the running back with the um, with the most yards who won the rushing title the following year, or especially with all the carries that Jacobs had the following year, not so good. But I hope he does well and then gets re-signed by the Raiders and sticks around for a little bit. Got points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. There's a blast from the past, Thurman Thomas to 100. I guess the running backs aren't, aren't like they were back in the day. Whether it's just due to usage and just the way running backs are deployed or not deployed as the case may be. We've got a mini Cam Smith. Anthony Richardson. Are all the first round quarterbacks, are they all starting? I know Anthony Richardson is starting, right? Bryce Young is starting for Carolina. CJ Stroud will start for, will be a week one starter for the Houston. Indianapolis Colts, week one starter for the Colts. So yeah, I think is Will no Will Levis isn't starting week one, but I think all the top those top five quarterbacks, Hendon Hooker's not starting. He's he won't be around for a year I think. Just scrolling down the list. Kip, what's going on, man? How are you? Good to see you. Aiden O'Connell for my Raiders will not be starting. Dorian Thomas Robinson will not. Okay, yeah. So like the top, the top three quarterbacks in the draft will be Week One starters. What's up, Chris? What's going on? We got Christian Okoye to two ninety nine. Well, who do you think has the best week one? Before we randomize those spots, uh, Carolina is at Atlanta. The Texans are at Baltimore, Kip's Baltimore Ravens, and the Colts are hosting Jacksonville. Ooh, that's tough mashups for all those QBs. All right, um, let's do this. Let's flip back over here. I know we've got those points there. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sort of change, make an executive decision here. We're giving away those Big Hit Express spots. So top seven will get a Big Hit Express spot. The eighth spot, the first non-winner, are, uh, are gonna get those points. So there's all the name. Good luck, everybody. So let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a two, five times each. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Now from nine on down, it's gonna be sad times. Danny, sorry. Very close, but just not quite. Not as sad for spot eight, because you're gonna get those 400 points. That's for you, Brian. But happy times for the top seven. That's gonna be Tristan, Edward, Chad, Chris, Chris, Tristan, and Alan. Congrats to the top seven. We'll see you in the next break, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.